Hello there guys, my name is Kai Shadogs the Born but Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a next five years video where today we're going to be talking about Six Flags America. This is in Bolt this is, this is about 15 minutes from Washington DC, the capital of the United States. Uh, now shout out to Barnzio and Thomas Rosie Fan2 for suggesting this video. If you want a shout out, if you want to suggest a video and get a shout out for the next video that we upload, which is your suggestion, then comment it down below. Even if it's already been commented, you get added to the shout out list automatically. Uh, we are pre-recording a lot of next five year videos over the last week, over the next week or two. So uh, get your suggestions in because this is the time to do it. Uh, we're going to be looking at the last 10 years of Six Flags America and then checking out the next five year predictions that I've got lined up for this particular park. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video because as we speak at the time of recording this, we are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer to 1,900 subscribers, uh, which is very, very cool. And uh, we're getting closer and closer to 500,000 views across every single video in total, which is unbelievable. Half a million. So thank you very much, guys, for that. Uh, it just proves how... It, it, you know, this isn't my channel. This is our channel. We're, it's ours. And uh, you guys make it a big part of that. So thank you very much. Uh, but for now, let's get straight on. Let's talk about the last 10 years of Six Flags America. Because there's a lot of history surrounding the last decade. So in 2010, they introduced the Thomastown area with loads of new kids rides. But it only took a year. And then in 2011, they rethemed it to the Whistle Stop Park we all know and love today. Now, at the same time, they were getting prepared because, of course, in 2012, they reopened the relocated stand-up coaster Iron Wolf from Six Flags Great America as Apocalypse, the last stand. Now, in 2013, they added the Bonsai Pipelines to the water park, Hurricane Harbor. And in 2014, this is a big one, they added two new family rides, Raging Cajun, a Zampella Twister Coaster, relocated from Six Flags Great America by the same name, which it operated between 2004 and 2013, replacing the old Vacoma Invertigo Coaster to face the flip side at Six Flags America. That operated between 1999 and 2007. And then they also added French Quarter Flyers, so they tore out a rock wall and replaced it with a Larson Flying Scooters attraction. So, not a bad replacement. And in 2015, they added the Larson Super Loop Flat Ride, the Bourbon Street Fireball. In 2016, they added the Water Play Area Splash Water Falls to Six Flags Hurricane Harbor. In 2017, they added the Funtime Starflyer, or traditionally known in Six Flags terms, the Sky Screamer, but they called theirs Wonder Woman Lasso Truth. For 2018, the park renovated and rethemed their Castaway Creek into Wahoo River. In 2019, Apocalypse, the last stand, was renovated with brand new floors, trains, and renamed Firebird. And in 2020, well, they had their new 2021 attraction, which was originally going to be opening in 2020 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Unfortunately, that was delayed. So that was the last 10 years, and what a 10 years at Six Flags America it has been. So that is the last 10 years of Six Flags America. You can see a lot of investment in there, a lot for families, a lot for the water park. A couple of coasters here and there, Renov renovation, you know, and one of them but, uh, a few years down the line afterwards. But uh, overall, you know, I think by coaster enthusiast standards, it wasn't the most exciting 10 years in the whole, you know, Six Flags chain in terms of that particular park. I think other parks have done better than Six Flags America. But I predict the next decade will be even better than the last one. So before we get started, honestly... Go and check out the park, go and check out the website, go and check out Six Flags if you haven't already, if you don't know anything about this park. It is still a good park. And um, let's check out my next five year predictions for Six Flags America. Starting off with our delayed 2020 attraction for 2021. So of course we know it's become apparent that 2020 attractions that haven't opened yet are delayed to 2021 because of the current COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, maybe you're watching this a few years in the future and it's completely gone. You don't know what COVID-19 is, but there we go. But yeah, if you're watching in the future five years from now, five years ago, we had a pandemic and no one listened. Um, but in 2021, they are adding their 2020 attraction, Harley Quinn's Insanity. This is their Zamperla Giant Discovery Frisbee ride, replacing the old Sky Coaster. Um, and yeah, this is a decent flat ride, so I'm not you know, a sad about this addition at all. I think this is a great addition for the park. It's good to get a nice major flat ride. In 2022, this is where I predict the next major roller coaster and the first coaster from scratch since over 10 years ago. Over 10. 
probably even over 12 years ago, you know, we're looking here at not last decade, but the decade before for the last from scratch roller coaster. And this one will be worth the wait. I'm thinking now, of course, 2022, I think they're going to go along with what they were going to plan for 2021. And that is the RMC Raptor for Magic Mountain. I also think there's going to be a Premier Rides Coaster project, but I'm thinking they're going to go with the SNS follow up to Max Force. Uh, replacing the whole Whistle Stop Park area and making it a Gotham theme. So it will be a compressed air launch coaster. Maybe it's faster than Max Force at Six Flags Great America, but this will be located in the Whistle Stop Park section. It'll be part of Gotham City, right near to, uh, of course, Superman Rider Steel. The Bat Wing is up there as well. Uh, of course, you've got the Harley Quinn's Ben Sanity ride, the new ride for the previous year, which will have been, you know, not too far away as well on the other side. So. You know, very, very likely. Um, and I think that this is going to be a great coaster. Of course, you're probably thinking, why a compressed air launch coaster? Because you've got Joker's Jinx. This one differs from Joker's Jinx. Joker's Jinx is more of the multi-looper um, LIM launch coaster from Vacoma. This is very much the... Um, the SNS compressed air launch coaster. This offers a, a modern launch coaster experience. So, this is where it differs from Joker's Jinx, and I think it'll be a very good coaster in its location. In 2023, uh, I am predicting Tsunami Surge slash Python's Plunge. Now, you're probably thinking, why would you go with that prediction, and where would you put it? Well, I would put it right behind Tornado. I think that whole site, you can see a slide in there as well. Uh, that'll get all removed. And I think we're going to be seeing a nice long Tsunami Surge complex in that particular location. Uh, and I think they could go with the name Tsunami Surge. They could go with Python's Plunge if they wanted to. Uh, but I think either one would be a decent addition. In 2024, this is where it gets very, very interesting. I'm going to go with a family rides package. Now, you're probably thinking, where is this going to go? We can already see your screen by now. It is going to go in the site of the Penguins Blizzard River. I think they're going to expand behind Wonder Woman Lasso Truth and the other side of the Joker's Jinx. And they're going to use that Penguin Blizzard River site that's been highly rumored to go for a few years now. And I think they're going to expand in that area with some new family rides some brand new dc family rides that they have not added yet and i think they're going to build a brand new dc super friends area now my other prediction along with that particular site as you can already see maybe they go with something else maybe they go with one particular attraction type maybe they go with something that hasn't been added to the six Flags parks in a good few years by this point and that is the abc torbalon now the torbalon ride system popped up on intim in recent in recent times so does intamin now own the torbalon ride concept i'm not too sure of what that situation is but either one either abc rides or intamin Whoever owns the Torbalon, I think a Torbalon would be a great fit if they're going to go for another thrill ride. And again, you could use the Cyborg Cyberspin name. Don't go for the Harley Quinn Spin Sanity uh, and rename the Frisbee ride to something else. Don't go with that. I think it's better just going with the Cyborg Cyberspin name. Uh, it's much better than that. And uh, yeah, I think that's what we're looking at here. DC Super Friends or a Cyborg Cyberspin and then leave loads of space for another future flat ride beyond these next five years. Then in 2025, I'm predicting another major roller coaster at the park. I think I told you this decade could be the renovation of Six Flags America into more investments. And we're looking here at the uh, the Family Ride, Pirates Flight being taken out, Cyclone, the park's uh, Shoot the Shoots ride being taken out. Of course, loads of Shoot the Shoot rides have been taken out in recent times. Tidal Wave at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Tidal Wave at Six Flags St. Louis has been taken out. And uh, I think Cyclone at Six Flags America is next. And I think in that spot, if you look at the spot, I mean, you can see like a theatre in the bottom corner as well, the bottom left. Uh, so that'll be removed as well. Rejuvenate that entire area into an RMC single rail coaster. A clone of Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas would be a decent shout for the park. I think it'd be a great compact thrill coaster and I think it'd be nice to add that to the park. So there we go, as you can see the torch has come on nice and beautifully there, right on cue, because that is the end of our predictions for the next five years at Six Flags America. Now this one is a particular favourite of mine, this one, because I think that, um, you know, I think that we've got a lot of decent predictions here. I think that an SNS air launch coaster is great, a Raptor further down the decade would be great, uh, you could see some kids rides in there, thrill ride maybe. 
and uh, overall, it wouldn't be a bad year. You've even got a Hurricane Harbor edition in there as well, and you know America likes to love and loves to add a Hurricane Harbor. So I think that you know there's a range of additions within those next five years, and I think that it, they, they all could be possible. They all could be possible. And uh, the reason why I say it's all possible is because I think Six Flags will really get their act together and uh, rejuvenate the park chain, you know, on the back aftermath of this COVID-19 pandemic once it's all done and dusted. So, um, you know, I think Six Flags definitely could be in for the long haul. And I think that these investments to Six Flags America will help get that park back on track in the thrill market. So I think that the next five years could be a very thrill year. Uh, just to bring the teenagers back to Six Flags America more and bring more teenagers in. And um, then maybe the next five years, the end of that decade, could be more of a family rejuvenated year. So more Hurricane Harbor editions, more family rides, that kind of thing. Maybe more shows, maybe do like a whole show year. You look at what Six Flags Great America did back in 2014 um, with their, uh, f uh, sorry, 2015. Uh, with their 40 seasons of thrill celebrations, uh, bringing back three old kids rides and doing, uh, you know, remembering the 40 seasons of fun. So maybe something like that with America, but maybe not for an anniversary, just for, you know, just, just a full, like, seasons of thrills kind of show rejuvenation kind of thing one year maybe. So, you know, I think America will have a quieter end of decade in the last five years of, the, of this decade, but I think the first five years could be very thrill rejuvenated. So, it should be interesting to see what they do in these next five years, but I can't wait to come back to these predictions in five years' time to see how true I got. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video uh, from Six Flags America. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We've got more pre-recorded videos coming over the next week or so. And for now, keep living the coast life. My name is Coast Shell, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.